everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CS News. Hope you guys all enjoy and thank you all for the great growth of the channel over the past few weeks. And thank you especially to all of you guys who've been liking the video and leaving a comment down below. We have grown more in the past week and a half than we have in the past year and a half on this channel. So seriously, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys all comment down below what your favorite story is. Our first story though is going to touch all about Shroud. You guys saw in the thumbnail and Shroud's statement against Valve about the current progression of CSGO. Now many of you probably know we've been kind of stagnant of, except for the major of a couple weekends ago and the new operation coming out several weeks ago. CSGO has been stagnant and I think on, on mainly as Shroud's trying to get at this, I'll play the lengthy clip for all of you, is Valve has been somewhat lazy besides when it comes to coming out with new updates that make themselves money and I think Shroud's overall point here is the game does need a significant change besides operations, besides new cases to actually keep and pique your interest and keep you guys playing the game. So I want you guys all to comment down below what you guys think after hearing Shroud's opinion on what he thinks that Valve needs to change going forward and I do heavily agree with him as of right now. Now, when it comes to operations can't be the only thing to pique your interest because especially many of you guys watching this you finish the operation missions within two days or a day or four hours and your interest is already gone so listen to the clip down below and I'll play it on screen for all of you right now and let me know what you guys think what does Valve need to change in game to pique your interest and keep you playing CSGO I personally if I was Valve I just heard something. this might probably be too much work for them that's why they won't do it they won't if they won't go up from their fucking 15 staff members working on Counter-Strike Go um, I personally would just take over Counter-Strike as a whole, almost like Riot. Do it better. Take ev Riot has this perfect thing to look at and to learn from. You could talk to them, see what what they did wrong, see what they you know what they, what they could do better, and they could do that themselves. But that's too much work. Val's not gonna do that. You know, Riot's Riot's like it's pretty good, but it has some fucking. It has a shit show going on sometimes. So they just have to learn from that. They have all this info of something that's been done. And it's been successful. It's just had a few bumps in the road. Now you fix the bumps by talking to Riot. Shroud, do you think CSGO is slowly dying? Uh, I mean, I don't think it's dying. I just think it's not growing. It's not dying. It's just not growing. The only way to make it grow is to update it. And they're not fucking doing shit. That is pristine! They're doing like these weird updates. I mean, I'm not sure why they're doing these updates when they could be doing updates to grow the game. Instead, they're doing like weird fixes that most people don't even care about or didn't even ask for. <laughs> I don't know, it's odd. Some of the shit they're doing is odd. What brings people back to a game or what brings people to a game is all the hype. And the hype comes from update changes, gameplay changes. League of Legends, Dota, those games are so popular because the meta and everything is always changing. CS, it's been the same fucking thing forever. There's no meta change. Maybe like one gun. Maybe a gun. It's like, oh, an ump. Okay, oh, maybe now the ump's not so good. Alright, good shit. That's about all you did. Meta changes kind of have already happened a little bit in the past. And that's when shit was, it was, it was on a hype train. Do you remember when, how many times like rifles got changed? They introduced all those rifle changes and all this shit. That's kind of a little bit of a change of a meta, not really, but it is like a pretty big change. Operations won't save the game. It has to be something significant. And I really don't mean to attack Valve here. If you guys disagree with me anything, if you guys have any reasons to disagree with me, please leave those comments down below. I'd love to reply to you guys, but I have to kind of go after Valve here because time and time again, we have seen the things that we want, the things that you want in the game. They take so long to progress and so long to update. The first of which I would say Dust 2 Rework, probably going to take way longer than it needs to, although we still have Inferno in the map pool, so that's the least of our worries there. Another example would be the R8 Negev update. That was months ago where they came out with that kind of beta testing. Those weapons have still yet to be finished off, which has been taking an excessive amount of time. On top of that, our last operation, we waited the longest ever for an operation, almost a full year, and people complained because it took people 12 hours to finish that operation, which took Valve over almost a year to actually produce. Even further, now we have the crouch jump bug. Who who really knows how long the dev working on that is going to take his time? Maybe at least a few months, maybe even a year. Who knows how long that will be? It would be a nice surprise if Valve actually fixes that one. But then in that same amount of time we were waiting for an operation, the things that make Valve money, and they're own pockets like case
cases, they came out on a quick, rapid scale. We had four cases, inc including gloves, maybe even keychains in the future. Any other money-making tactics Valve has, they're probably going to shell out those before they shell out the updates that you guys want. So that's why I'm kind of angry right now because it seems that everything that Valve wants to happen, everything that puts money in their pockets, comes out in a short amount of time. But everything that we want as a player base takes a large amount of time. And I, I realize their development team is a small team for the game of CSGO right now, which it still shouldn't be the amount of money they're pulling in. But those are my main concerns. And let's get into the good stories. But first off, thank you all of you who actually use my CSGO swap code down below. If you guys want to upgrade your skins, they are my current sponsor as of right now. And I think last video we actually broke 900 users who have used my affiliate code down below. So thank you all for the great support. But first off, I want, I want to touch on a great CSGO video. I have not shared videos in a long time. I don't want to be the news channel that actually you know refers to you guys, all these other great videos out there. But Clicky Crisp is a CSGO YouTuber who does not post very often. But when he does, the edits are absolutely insane. He actually posted a video about CSGO played as an RPG, kind of like an MMORPG, a quest mode CSGO. I'm going to link that video down below for all of you, show you guys quick screenshots on screen. It did not get the love it deserved. I mean, it got a great amount of likes and a great amount of views, but it deserves way more. So if all of you guys love MMOs like our RuneScape or any other MMOs out there, this would be a great video for you guys to watch. He shows CSGO played out as an RPG, and it was an amazing video. I can't imagine how long it actually took him to put that into action. Now, on top of that, our last big story for today I want to talk about is future Asian shuffles. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't care about the Asian scene. I've talked so much about rumors about North America and European shuffles going on right now, but I've not talked about the Asian scene, who is obviously constantly going to be growing in the future, and we should be aware of that. In the future, they will be probably eventually, eventually a dominant scene, more dominant than they are right now. As of right now, that Asian scene is composed of Korean and Chinese teams, just so all of you guys know, and don't get mad at me for that. So first of which, MVP Project has actually disbanded. If you guys remember, when MVP first banded, they actually had a huge hype around them because they were one of the first Asian scene teams to arise. It seems they don't have enough money going forward to actually support their roster, and so MVP has disbanded. But more importantly, in the Chinese scene of the Asian region, we have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of stuff going down, including Edward Gaming, a po popular League of Legends esports organization. They have a lot of money over there. They've actually gotten involved with Team Tai Lu going forward. They created a partnership just yesterday. I'll show you guys screenshots. How could you not be scared of these guys? But I mean, that was a joke, but I'm being serious going forward. These guys could be a powerhouse, have plenty of money with them. And on top of that, we could see a possible Asian shuffle involving other Chinese teams. Of course, VG Cyber Zen, they used to be second in the Chinese scene. If you guys remember many, many months ago, though, they decided to actually branch off into two different teams. There is still VG Cyber Zen, and now VG Gaming is their partner team. And they got way worse after they split off. And so we could see kind of a three-way going on. I didn't mean that to be weird. Okay, a three-way of trades going on, a shuffle going on between those players because because a lot of the players on VG actually used to play with players on Tai Lu. And so watch out for that. Tai Lu and Edward Gaming could also have a youth partnership squad, so kind of an academy team as well. So a Chinese slash Asian scene shuffle is coming sometime soon, and we will see what comes out of that. Hopefully a dominant team for once. I know I always talked up the hype about the Chinese scene. It does obviously take time for these things to arise, but watch out, guys. You heard it here first, or if you've already heard about it, you heard it here second, okay? So for today's last segment, I'm going to talk about why I don't use Drake Moon, why I don't like Drake Moon. If you guys are any Drake Moon fanboys out there, I'm sorry, I might break your heart here because I'm going to tell you all not to use it. This is not in any means actual paid promotion. This is me spending a month of my time to actually acquire a video segment of 60 seconds. So I spent a month of my time. I'll show you guys the distribution of math on screen. Every, If you guys know Drake Moon's daily collection, you can actually collect diamonds, 300 diamonds on their website every three hours. So collectively, I spent over a month trying to get 50,000 diamonds. I thought I would make a fun video segment for all of you and I would give away whatever skin I got. Well, after 10 minutes of opening cases on their website, uh, 50,000 diamonds worth. If you also know, if you actually go deposit $500 worth of skins on their website, you'll get 50,000 diamonds. So equivalently, I did that and I spent 10 minutes opening cases and I got absolutely nothing. Just a, a long story short, okay? So that's why I'm not going to use them ever again. I guess daily collection is never going to be in your favor anyway, but I was pissed off about that. And I was also pissed off because the top th comment on my last video for community questions was this guy. This jokester, and even worse, all of you jokesters who thumbs up his comment, and that is why today I'm not going to do any community questions because I don't know where Foon is, okay? I don't know, and I never will. I didn't even think he still played CSGO after the beta. I know he was like a legendary cheater for some short amount of time. So, joke's on you, pal. I'm the foo. No, I'm not. That was a total stupid joke. I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully in a couple days, guys. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode of CSGO News. If you guys did, leave a comment down below. I will see you all next time. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.